Hello, everyone. Guess what time it is? Time for a Dollar Tree haul from Canada. <laughs> if you're interested in seeing uh, the goodies I picked up, then stick around. to Dollar Tree and now that I am talking there is a cat here that is probably going to make an appearance because he thinks I'm talking to him probably so all right so what did I get what did I get all right uh I may be late to the game at a uh, Dollar Tree because I've been away and I haven't been shopping in Dollar Tree in a long time. So uh, anyway, I my store had a few of these pink storage boxes left, like the shoe boxes, and I got two of them. And as you can tell, they put stuff that I bought in there to save on space. Some other containers I picked up. This was new. This is a divided case. And I thought, oh, this is handy. Don't know what I'll use it for, but I picked one up anyway. It's quite deep. Um, actually, does it say how deep it is? It doesn't say, but uh, let me get a ruler so I can measure it. Um... I know I have a ruler. Do, do, do. Yes, this studio is not without a a, a big collection of uh, rulers, but of course I didn't have one right beside me. Okay, uh, so this is like two inches deep from here, plus the top part. So inside you get two and so you get like not quite two and a quarter so to give you an idea of the depth of what items you could put in here the cat will not fit in there and the dividers here are removable so you can make larger sections this part is put you cannot remove the center part but yeah thinking there's possibilities for this whether it be for our craft supplies or other household items maybe organized batteries maybe i don't know uh yep yeah. so i thought this was a cute little case and uh, measures six and a quarter uh by four and one eight and I already measured the depth, the height. It's about two and one eighth. Um, and yeah, okay, well, if you want the metric, um, that's 16 centimeters, uh, 10 and a half centimeters, and five and a half centimeters, approximately. <laughs> I picked up a package of the mica powder, uh, the resin studio, just, uh, I don't know. I have a lot of mica powder, but when I see gold or yellow, I pick it up because that's the one I have the least of. So I picked up these cable ties. These, this was in the aisle where they have the uh, techie stuff where earphones, uh, phone cases and things like that and they have these cable ties these, they look like they're silicone and i'm always up for anything to organize my techie stuff but not just my techie stuff i mean i use stuff like this in my craft room because i i have a lot of tools like for example here i have this heat gun and right now there is a elastic hairband holding it in place. I don't know if this would be the right size for it, 
but <laughs> I just know that these hair bands eventually the elastic inside breaks down and just want to see it is stretchy so mind you I have a yeah a splint on in my left hand so okay you would have to stretch it quite a bit to get it around but yeah see it's possible it's just I can't force right now so there you go I know this is sold with the intention for wrapping techie wires and cables and I know uh <clears throat> I think so British people say leads uh wrapping leads and stuff but uh yeah we could use this anywhere so Pretty practical cable ties. I think I bought two packages. Yeah, I bought two. Um, e circuit, three pieces, a dollar fifty. <clears throat> I saw the puffy gel pen. I have some puffy gel pens from Sakura. I think it's Sakura that makes them. Yeah, and I haven't played with those in ages, but when I saw these at Dollar Tree, it reminded me that I have that. So I picked up the ones they had at Dollar Tree, the colors they had. They had this green one. And this kind of lavender or lilac purple. And there was a blue. There were, there were only three, but... Uh, I thought these were fun. Uh, long, I, I played with puffy gel pens a long, long time ago. And uh, I just thought, oh, why not? This might be fun. So let's see how these babies work. In fact, I... I have some a vintage a gel note paper. This is this is old stuff. This is probably from the eighties. <laughs> gel notes. All right, or late nineties or something. Okay. Uh, there's a little red ball here that you have to remove when you get it. I don't want my cat to swallow that. So I have to be careful. see how this one this is supposed to be the green well this black paper is absorbing it all so let's see how it does on the so it looks better on the white it's not visible on the black so much but on the white yeah it works let's see on this black Okay, so on a very old, vintage, very porous paper, uh, it absorbs the ink. It takes a while, but it does show up. Shows up better on a less porous type of paper, like a shinier black. So there you go. And it's supposed to uh, slightly press down on the tip. I don't know if you've been trying to dry. Yeah, so you have to let it dry too before you see the if it puffs right so i don't know how how puffy this will be but if it will be puffy we'll see so there was the and i got blue and lilac I'll just test these out see how the blue works the blue works Okay, and I like that they're clicky. I like clicky pins. Uh, well, we'll call this lilac. So, there we go. The blue, um, I'm calling it lilac, and the green. So, yeah, I like the clicky part the best. <laughs> so these, uh, 
might be fun to play with. Okay. What will I do with these? I'll doodle. I will doodle with these and make... Um, I don't know. I'll just doodle. <laughs> okay. Uh, these were new to me. Uh, they are by Jot. They are magnetic clips. They are very, they, are, they say heavy duty and they are heavy. The kind that we can clip to our metal craft carts and they are metal. These are metal, um, painted enamel. They are, they have big magnets on them and Okay, my tripod is not just starting with it. Um, oh my god, not clipping to anything. I have nothing metal around me to test it on. But uh, yeah, so that's the idea, but I want to test it. So I will give these a try. They do adhere. They, they automatically uh, stick to the craft cart. I'm not sure how much weight they can hold, but uh, yeah, I got these to use in my craft carts and hopefully on my white, I have white metal doors around my house. So for decorations and stuff or leaving notes for someone. Um, yeah, I think these will be good. So I got that. Uh, this is just some black nail polish for painting. I use this. I use nail polish to repair chips on things sometimes um, that have been chipped because <laughs> my cats do things. And yeah, it's a cheap, cheap way to fix things around the house that are black that need a little that have a little like chip or scuff yeah <sighs> okay and oh i also got the rapid dry top coat from la colors i picked up the totally tiny blind bag collect them all and you get like either like a little teapot or some fast food, like hot dog or just like to me they're just miniatures and they might be fun to put in um, any kind of crafting, turn them into charms, whatever, just for fun. Got that. Oh, I got a few little treats to put in some treat bags for Easter. And, oh, here's another container that's new at uh, Dollar Tree. They had this, the, call it a craft box, and that's all they call it. And it has a latch here, and I think it's got tape on the top. There's some tape somewhere. Where's the tape? Oh, here it is. the tape yes. okay yeah so there we go and it has it's like you could play tic-tac-toe with this <laughs> hey this would make a travel tic-tac-toe game <laughs> just say okay so it has uh these nine squares inside that don't come out but the little containers do this. Let's see if this comes out by any chance. Oh, okay. The center ones, the, the these, this one does not come out. Okay, these two don't come out, but these ones are removable. These dividers are removable. Okay, I know. Uh, they are not twisty. They're just slip-on 
So you might not want to put, I wouldn't put like a mica powder in here or something. Cause if you, if you drop this and it goes all over the place, <laughs> you know, but if you're storing small pieces, uh, some jewelry making pieces or something that might work. And yeah, uh, I love a good storage container. Do I currently have a need for it? I don't think so, but I will have it. And one day I will be needing some kind of storage container like that. And I will be happy to have it. Okay, I picked up some more stamps. I think I already have them. I'm not sure. But I don't mind if I already have them just because uh, I really liked this style and I was thinking that if I have more than one set, I would be able to like put them on my my nifty plate thing so I could make like a whole scene and then stamp on a, a piece of paper or a card, whatever. I could do a whole thing. So, yeah, that was explained so well. Uh, I just noticed my subscriber number drop. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm always in need of reading glasses, so I got some of these, and I got them way too strong for me, but anyway. And they come in little cases. I picked them up because they had the cases. And I got these ones, too, with the brown leatherette case so I stash these in my bag every bag every plate every room I do that and I picked up one of these little baskets because I had to um again I'm not sure at the time at the store I knew what I was going to use this basket for I knew it I saw it and I was like oh that would be perfect for now mind, my mind has gone blank. I don't remember. But in the store, I saw it and the light bulb went on. And I don't remember now that I have it at home, what it is I want it for. Oh goodness, okay. I saw these little cutting dies. They're with the little leaves. I don't think I have this one. So I got it. That's cute. It's really cheap too. So that. And oh, some more um, little goodies because Easter. Okay. Those. Speaking of Easter, um, and by the way, this video will probably be after Easter. I'm sorry, I'm just really behind in my, my videos. They have these shaped gift bags. My store got, I got them this year. Uh, shaped gift bags in carrots. <laughs> They're little carrot bags. These are really cute. Two for $1.50. That's pretty good. And they're cute. They're really cute. They seem well made. So, yeah, this will for Easter little gift bags. Oh, this, my store had the activity paint tray again. So I picked up two more of these. I already had this color and a blue one. Yeah, I didn't have this pink one. So yeah, these are... I just thought they were great because when I have a project, I'm working on a project, I can put my my piece of paper that I'm working on if I'm doing some sort of uh, painting and I need to walk away, I can put it in this and protect it. And yes, because I have kitties that walk all over my wet paint usually. So this is one way to protect it. Now. If my, if my piece of art or whatever I'm working on is bigger than the box, I will put it like this. <laughs> hey, 
But I like that it's very slim, easy to slide in as places, so for storage. And yeah. Okay. Um, they had the clear organization stickers, uh, labels. This is from Forever in Time. And I thought this would be good in my kitchen to label things like flour, sugar, coffee, brown sugar, pasta, blah, 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 blah. blah. So I got that. And this seemed new to me, the one for the spices. So salt, black pepper, onion powder, ginger, red pepper. Um, which will be nice because we have a drawer in our kitchen where we store our spice bottles standing up. And I just thought that this would be nice because the some of the labels that we have, they, they need to be refreshed. Put it that way. Okay. They've been some of the labels of worn off some don't have labels and so i just thought this would be a nice nice little refresh of the spice bottle drawer as well as i picked up these um organization labels for crafting items because they are easy to read from a distance oh and i got this little carrot garland uh I don't know. I just thought it would might be a cute little decoration um, on Sunday for Easter. That. And, oh, I picked up a bottle of bubble bath, phone bath. Um, I don't know if it's any good. It's pink, Japanese, cherry blossom. Smells nice. I mean, it's a light scent. I don't know. If anybody's tried it, let me know what you think of this. Um, I mean, this was a dollar fifty. I hope it was a dollar fifty. So, if it doesn't suds up much, yeah. If I have to put, if I have to put the whole bottle, well, it's only a dollar fifty. I picked up a bunch of fabrics because I love fabric and I think these are such a good deal. I think these are fat quarters. They measure 18 by 21 inches and they are 100% cotton. So I got this one and I just saw that this one is a breast cancer awareness. It's supposed to be breast cancer awareness it's this lovely pink with pink blooms on it i don't i don't want to open them up because i they're easier for me to store uh in the, my space um i got this one with the butterflies and i think they're all the same size pretty sure yeah and they're all 100 percent cotton so here we pay a dollar fifty. I think that's excellent for a fat quarter. That's a really, really good price. So this one, I got this one. It has some gold on it. And it has unicorns. Unicorns. That one. And here's another floral one that is on a wooden background that one um and here's the one with bicycles the blue one with bicycles so yeah i do not know what i will make with these but um oh, i'll figure it i'll figure it out and i picked up this pink gingham there were a lot. There were so many to choose from. I'm just showing you the ones I picked up. Got this pink gingham, and it it's not a perfect gingham for some reason. Oh, okay. There's there was a fault in the printing of this fabric. It's weird. Okay. Pink the gingham. Uh flowers. This one is uh a felt. 
it's a hundred percent cotton but it's 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 a very soft it's not a felt it's just feels felty but it's cotton so i just thought this might be nice to make um like stuffed animals maybe so that one same for this one i really like the stripes this one is more of a flannel flannel is the word i was looking for so 100 percent cotton flannel i thought the colors were really pretty it goes they go well like this and then the i got a, this one with the watering cans and it says something on here time i don't know home something like that with the watering cans are you tired yet yeah, i am <laughs> uh this one is a white with a like sun print a sun print and some flowers and then i got this other sun print this one with the gold sun on the white and then there was some other spacey type of fabric this one is like um um oh my goodness the words is well you've got like horoscope signs on it too and suns and moons and stars and yeah celestial i guess so that one and this one has planets a bunch of planets on it and stars also and this one is just like a starry sky so i got my spacey ones and i've got my garden ones and then i got one with mermaids because <laughs> it all goes together There's a an update on the puffy gel pen. It's almost dry and yeah, I could feel it. I could feel a little bit of puffiness. Not a lot, but yeah, you could feel it. It's like thick. That's what it feels like. These were new uh, to me. They're in the teaching tree section of Dollar Tree. And there's four in here of these uh, blank books. And I was curious um, of, about these and what they are, exactly what it says they are. There's blank books, very, very thin, only 16 pages. And they are just uh, little books like that with uh, regular office paper very thin office paper and they're just stapled uh, into a little cover so i guess uh, these are great for kids if they're going to make their own stories make little journals and uh, i just thought that they might be fun for us to use in our own journal making um i mean we can even like cut these and use them in our traveler's notebooks um yeah so or you know to make books uh with your kids and they had different prints so these are the two i chose all right oh my cat okay Kate. and we have cosmo cosmo the curious kitty oh my Okay, Cosmo. Cosmo. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Cosmo. You have to get out of the way. All right. So uh, I picked up this can of shaving foam uh, for my husband. It's not a big can, and that's why I picked it up. I thought this would be a good one for him to have in his for his traveling or or for at the gym. Or something like that so it's not very big but it's two dollars it's only five ounces so that oh. 
Now, the, the next Dollar Tree bag, I, I'm going to do it in this haul because there's not that much to show you. But I walked in to the Dollar Tree. This was a different Dollar Tree um, in one day. And they had the Crafter Squares vinyl papers for the die you know they're like the cricket machine and stuff they were clearing them out at 50 cents a box so i stocked up on a bunch of these so yeah 50 cents a piece yeah i bought i bought a dozen i think or so of these uh and i got pinks and whites and blacks mostly the colors i used the most So you just never know. Even Dollar Tree will have like a clearance. Some Dollar Trees do that sometimes. Uh, so there were some new rub-on transfers, and this what does this say? Specialty on it, and yeah, rub-on transfer. And I thought, oh, these are really pretty. These are very vintage looking. Yeah, even Cosmo likes them. Hey, Cosmo. So, that. Got a few of those. Um, I got this one. I thought these were very, very pretty. The dragonfly is nice. Okay. And sorry about the kitty. Kitty does not come from Dollar Tree. Nope. Nope. My Cosmo here. Yeah, with his brother Shadow. Yeah, they come from a shelter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's also this set of rub-on transfers that I thought were very pretty. And yeah. And um yeah, and my cat is uh biting on them. Mati. Mati kitty. And the other one I picked up is this one. And uh, I forgot the name of this flower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, got that. I'm sorry. My Cosmo wants to help. Me? Uh, these are not a crafty item, but they have these compression juncture compression knee highs um i'm like i got them i give these a try it says they're only the compression calf is 15 20 mmgh there uh that's not very very strong but 15 20 it's better than nothing and i <coughs> I'm supposed to wear them all the time, but I just wear them when I travel on airplanes. So I thought that was a really good deal uh, for compression socks. And I have a feeling that I already did a video on this stuff. Okay, forgive me if I already did a video on this stuff. Um, <clears throat> and this is a yarn storage container. They have these now, uh, Dollar Tree Little Ball. All right, so on behalf of Shadow and Snowball here, hey guys, um, I want to thank you for uh, stopping by today and watching yet another haul video. And I hope uh, I gave you some tips on uh, things I do with the products. And um, I really appreciate you stopping by. Please like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. 
Uh, please give this a full pause up or thumbs up. And uh, until next time, stay crafty. Bye.